Halo 212 guys are jealous of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, how do you react to that? Like, do, is that something you think about? Is that something you feel happy about? Because it's a, also a compliment when all these older guys are jealous of you. Uh, yeah. Because they are jealous of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. How do you okay. react to that? No, great question. I'm glad that you brought that up, actually. Um, no, it's not something that I like, to be honest with you. Okay. And, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, going back to when I first – well, when I was an amateur, I would see guys um, uh, that I looked up to, whether it be like Jose Raymond or whoever. Like, Because Jose is very, very out there. He does a lot for the amateurs, not just on the pro level. He's always at these national shows and stuff. So Jose was a guy I looked up to for – well, since before the first time I ever competed, he was like – him and Jay Cutler were the two guys that I looked up to the most. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as an amateur, I remember at 2016 USA's, I ended up placing second in the middleweight. Uh, Jose had some really great words to say to me you know, when I came out in the crowd. And it was just like like I took that to heart and I loved I, – like I, I worked my ass off for the next year to, to – you know, thinking about what he said. Um, and to earn that title. But anyway, um, you know, he was very encouraging to me when I, when I turned pro, they were all very, very encouraging to me. I went to the Olympia. I remember being backstage for check-ins, weigh-ins, um, flex was like, congratulations, you know, welcome. And they were all very, very welcoming of me. And I was like, Oh my God, like this is, mm -hmm. this is what I was dreaming of my whole life. Mm -hmm. Since I started bodybuilding, I thought, man, when I get to that, that level, cause I believed in myself that I would get to that level. I was like, man, I hope I can establish like a great relationship with all these guys. And I, that's what I felt right away. Well, then after the 2017 Olympia went, went by, um, I think what really struck a chord was I, I, I made a post one time, and you guys probably remember, it was of a front double bicep <laughs> shot at the 2017 Olympia. And um, without thinking, all I thought about was um, I seen an, another person post something that said, who wins this shot? And it was a – the same thing, literally the same post, and it was of, but instead it was me with like a Mod Ashkenani, Flex. It might have been just us three, but then also I know Jose was in that picture too at some point. But anyway, um, I said, "Who wins this shot?" And it was just something I posted to get people excited, like mm -hmm. you know, uh, whatever. It had nothing to do with um, uh, should I win this show or anything like that. Like, dude, I was just happy to be there. So anyway. I made that post and that really struck a chord uh, with those guys. And I remember I got a lot of backlash for that. Mm. And that's when everything kind of started taking a, a turn the other way. Um, but now let's go back to being on stage at the 2017 Olympia. If those guys recall, and they should recall, every single person, David Henry, Ahmad, Jose, Flex, each one of those guys that were in the top five, including myself, when we were uh, at finals, 2017 Olympia, it was done. We posed down. I shook each one of their hands, gave each one a hug, and I said to each one, thank you for making my dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Even though I knew I worked to get there, me and my coach worked to get there, they were still on stage, and it was like a dream come true that I was on stage with those guys. Mm -hmm. It's something I, I had thought about for many years, right? Mm -hmm. So – Anyway, now fast forward, I make that post, they're frustrated a little bit, and, and I'm gaining confidence, um, not, not an ego boost, but just knowing, hey, I know my place now with these guys in the top five, mm. I'm going to bust my ass to be my very best next year. I'm going to make huge improvements, mm. which I believe that I did, again, you know, going to 2018 Olympia the last couple of weeks, um, we didn't peak properly, but I was making an crazy improvements throughout the off season between 2017 and 2018. I was doing my best to get on interviews like this or whatever. Um, and, and that's the thing is that more pros need to be doing things like this. hundred percent. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because the only way that bodybuilding is going to th continue to thrive is to use the media. And that's especially the bodybuilding media, muscular development, whatnot, uh, all your platforms. Matter of fact, I'm actually doing another interview next week too with um, oh, nice one. 
Beast Coast. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they've been good. Well, well, Derek, you and I have talked, I mean, many times because I, I, I always, when I, when I cite the, the kind of easiest guys to work with that get back to you straight away. And I mean, I asked you, I, I think the last update you sent me from Moss News Weekly, I think you yeah. sent it within an hour and then you apologized for it being so late. And it's like, yeah. mate, you know, well, that's, sorry, that's, pretty, that's pretty much as prompt as I need it to be. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I try to do my best, you know, and to do it right then and there. And if, if like, I was, um, you know, I wouldn't say I was waiting for you you to get a hold of me, but as soon as you asked me, I was like, yes, mm-hmm. you know, like yes, I will be on your show. Yeah. Um. So that's why I think I think I think more bodybuilders need to do that and express themselves and and be genuine and say, hey, you know, I'm coming for this title. I'm coming mm-hmm. to challenge Derek. Like, you know, you know, there, Derek has supporters, but you know what? I don't care. I'm coming. I'm going to be my best mm-hmm. to challenge him. I love that. That's awesome. You know, because that motivates me because I'm going to go, I don't think so, pal. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know so – but the thing is, is, is when it becomes disres- like truly disrespectful that, and unprofessional, that's, that's not good. I'm not going to be a part of that. And that kind of happened last year too. It seemed to be where I kind of got drugged into that yeah. and I was, I was doing my best to not be a part of it, right? Because mm-hmm. that's not something I believe in. Um, I believe in, in challenging each other and building hype for a show and stuff. That's what we need. We need to be professional first. Um, but yeah, I think, I think once, uh, this year at the Olympia, I ended up placing second. I think that there was some, um, people that felt indifferent about it. Um, and I think it was mostly because, you know, you had seen the top guys placing how they did year after year after year. And it became like routine. I think everybody kind of got, you know, complacent with their so-called role Mm -hmm. in the 212 and me, Ahmad and, you know, Kamal, a couple guys, Hey, we're here to challenge that, man. Like, not because we don't respect you and we don't love you. And I still put these guys on a pedestal. I still look up to Jose. I was messaging Flex the other day. Like, uh, I still look up to these guys. Like, I want to still learn from them. But, you know, I understand that they got their own things going on. And um, now it's my turn to figure things out, too. The thing is, to answer your question, though, it truly um, can be disappointing sometimes when – like I, like I, I was hoping we could um, not go through the the jealousy and the and that kind of stuff that's been going on. And I was hoping that could, instead of that, actually get more guidance on how to be the best professional bodybuilder I can be. Mm-hmm. To to like you know, if I could step in that role as the champ, then I, I want to be the best I can be at it, right? Mm. Or whatever at, at any level of a professional, I want to be the best I can be at it. And if I can get guidance from the guys who've done it in the past. Please, like I want that. Like you know, I want I want your guidance, and I want it to be honest and genuine. Um, but uh, you know, that jealousy can sometimes get in the way, and and that there is unfortunate, um, you know, coming from me. However, look, I have a different perspective at this stage of my life and and today. You know, I'm you know just now coming into it, whereas these guys have been around for a while, so it, I can see where it could be frustrating. So a new guy coming in and challenging you know the yeah. them but 